The February crop insurance prices are set and it could impact the acreage mix this spring. Michelle Rook is back at the CHS Ag Industry Days in North Dakota with more. Joining us with market analysis, Randy Martinson, Martinson Ag. Randy, we do have the February crop insurance base prices have been set now. Corn pretty similar to last year. It was. It was a penny less than last year, so you can basically say it was a little, you know, pretty close to the same. You know, the one nice thing about this year, volatility is a little bit lower, so that'll help with the premiums a little bit. Soybeans were down from last year, though. They were down from last year, uh, you know, down, I think, like 13, 77, 78, somewhere in that area. So they were quite a bit lower. Uh, you know, again, I don't know if that'll matter with the bean side of things, but it will help, you know, lower premiums a little bit, but it'll lower your guarantee as well. What happened with a Durham versus hard red spring wheat? Well, you know, that's where things really got to be interesting. They changed how they figure the Durham price this year, which added some premium to it. It actually turned out to be about a dollar twenty-four above spring wheat. Uh, spring wheat coming in, you know, lower than last year, and Durham quite a bit higher. So I think that's going to maybe start switching some acres up in the northern plains, especially in north central to northwestern North Dakota. Yeah, ten dollars eleven cents is a pretty high. A mark for uh, Durham, isn't it? it? It is a very high uh, mark for Durham and it will encourage acres. So what do you see as far as the whole acreage mix up here in the Northern Plains? You know, I think we're going to see an increase in corn acres because corn is king up here, just like we are seeing in the Corn Belt. I think soybean acres will gain a little bit and I think there are some of our specialty crops will lose some acres. Barley will likely see a little bit of an increase just because uh, that's starting to become pretty popular in the rotations because of the pet food market. And we have other specialty crops, though, that we can look at. Canola, sunflowers, how do those come in? I think canola will see an increase, mainly because of uh, crush plants coming up in Canada. That'll pull some of the demand, and, and it'll increase demand in the, U in the U.S. For, for our crush plants here. Sunflowers will probably see a little bit lower acres because of uh, a little lower price. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. That is Randy Martinson with Martinson Ag, and we'll have more Ag Day coming up.